Okay, hey guys, this will be a October 2014 reptile slash amphibian room video, and my reptile room has changed a little bit since the last time I made one, and hopefully you guys enjoy watching, and please leave a like if you do enjoy, and let's get started. Okay, let's start off with the Japanese clouded salamander. Um, I've actually had him for a year, and he is very small. I grew him from a little larvae and he's doing good. Um, once they get big they will have gr uh, brown and yellow patterns and I'm sure that you don't really see these at your local pet store in the states or wherever and I was lucky enough to get one of them even here in Japan. So I keep him in this Exoterra Nano tank. Um, works out for a small salamander like him. Next to him we've got my lovely leopard gecko stripey. She's currently shedding so you can see that she's a little white. Uh, whiter than usual but still very pretty as usual. And this is her setup. I've got some fake rock backgrounds going on back there. Um, a nice warm hide and a water dish. Some live plants back there. And I've actually kept her for four and a half years now and she's doing great. Beneath them we've got my African fat tailed gecko. Um, I'll try getting him out for you right now. Okay right here we've got my African fat tailed gecko baby. Um, I've had him for about a week and um, he's in a 60 centimeter terrarium. Um, really big for a baby gecko but it's okay. Um, so he's doing good. Really fat and cute. So that's my African fat tailed gecko. Uh, now, if we go down, we've got a really nice looking vivarium with a Japanese fire belly newt larvae in here somewhere. Uh, not quite sure, but somewhere in here in the water. Um, you can see that there are a ton of live plants growing everywhere. The ferns are doing good, at least for once. Um, it's, all the plants are exploding, basically. They're doing so well. Um, next to that setup, we've got my big bronze gecko, Zilla. Um, let me try to get him out for you guys. Okay, so I got him out. Um, you can see how cool he looks like, but he's not tame at all. Um, he's got these dots all over him. It's pretty much like a leopard gecko back. Um, it feels like a leopard gecko as well. But, of course, this one will bite me if I try to grab him or anything. Unlike a leopard gecko, but... Anyway, they're really cool and fun to watch at night time, so... Yeah, cool gecko. Um, this is his setup. Um, a 60 centimeter terrarium with some live plants and branches. Okay, right here we've got my Madagascar spiny tailed iguana. Um, you can see where the name comes from. Uh, he's got a really cool looking tail, but they're actually similar to an iguana, but they're not exactly an iguana. Anyway, um, he's way more tame compared to the um, Bibron's gecko. Um, but really cool lizard. He's in a 60 centimeter by 45 centimeters. Um, the second largest terrarium that I have. Um, I've added a new rock in the middle. It's a nice centerpiece. Um, I've got some live plants growing around. And he's got a custom made uh, background where he can bask and hide. So that's my Madagascar spiny tailed iguana. Moving on, we've got my bearded dragon. And the whole setup looks red, but that's just from the orange sand and the light bulb. Um, I was thinking to get the sand out, but I figured I'll just buy more tiles some other time. Um, but for now, he's not impacted at all. Um, and same for my leopard gecko. Um, I really keep an eye on impaction. Um, 
And I've kept her for four and a half years, and sand didn't impact her at all. Um, I feed her with tw tweezers or just on the desk so that she wouldn't eat any sand. Same goes with the beardy. I'll feed him on these branches or on the desk or with a plate. Anyway, he's in a 90 centimeter terrarium, the largest one that I own. Um, really big, big terrarium for sure. Um, it's taking up most of my space on the desk, but oh well. Um, this size should be good enough for one beardy. And I will definitely be changing around the stuff once he gets bigger, but here's my li little beardy. Um, he's actually grown a lot since I got him. It's been a month or two now, and he's so fun. So that's my beardy, and let's move on to the amphibians. I have no idea if you can see him right there, but there's a hibernating Japanese tree frog in the middle. If you could see that gray thing, you can maybe see the eye of him. Anyway, I've got two of these Japanese tree frogs in here. Um, if I didn't mention, I live in Japan, so they're super common. Um, they're really cute frogs, but unfortunately this one's hibernating right now, and the other one as well. So. That's that. Um, they're in a really nice looking uh, live plant. I mean, a natural looking uh, live planted vivarium with some branches. And next to them, I've actually got a Chinese fire belly newt somewhere in here. Um, it's not really a great setup because I'm actually going to um, move him to a different tank, which I'll be showing you later. Um, here he is. Come on. He's actually grown a lot as well, but he's ooh, still not big enough to go with the adult fire belly newts that I keep as well. So he's in this tank for now. If you're wondering what those adult newts were, um, they're actually these Ch Japanese fire belly newts. Um, I've got three of them in here. Um, they're all females. I released the male that I had. It was a rescue from the wild. And he seemed okay, so I just released him a couple weeks ago. Anyway, um, yeah, you can see that the size is way more different. Here's my finger. Um, the Chinese fire belly newt is still not big enough. He'd get eaten if I put him in there. Anyway, um, I've got three of them, like I said. Um, the setup I just finished making yesterday looks really nice. I've got some hair grass growing right here. I don't remember the plant names of those back there, but... And I also have willow moss growing everywhere. So, hopefully, it'll grow a lot soon. And it's definitely one of the cooler tanks that I have. Okay, right next to them, we've got my white tree frog with um, in a really odd pose. Um, right here, really funny frog. Um, probably one of the funniest amphibians that I own. Um, he's in a 60 centimeter terrarium. Um, you can see it goes all the way back there. Same size as the fire belly newts. Um, he's doing good in this setup. Not really so many plants, but it's fine um in this setup we've got my tokyo salamander if you can see him right there poking his little head out he's a little bigger than the first baby salamander i showed you in the beginning um he likes to hide under the under those little rocks um, he's in a 45 centimeter terrarium doing really great he's got some willow moss and stuff growing everywhere as well um and he's growing a lot. Okay, right here we've got my last herp that I'll be showing you. It's my Eastern Tiger Salamander, Tora. And the lighting looks so odd from the uh, cage. Um, let me try moving a little. So he's in this little, little big critter keeper. Um, it's a plastic container. And that's just for now. I don't really want to put him in something small like this, so until I get a nice sized 
terrarium for him. He's in here. And he's doing just fine in here anyway, so. Um, that's my eastern tiger salamander, Tora. Um, really cool salamander and funny to watch as well. Okay, th thank you for watching till the end. Um, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more, please click that subscribe button down below. I'll really appreciate that and till then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.